All right, here we are in lesson 11. Bubble three, skill building. Find the code that changes the background. Change the code to make the page a different color. Change the background color of just the paragraphs. All right, we know this is all in CSS. So here's our CSS. Here's our CSS background color for light blue. I can just change this to blue by getting rid of that. Or I can change it to a whole different color if I wanted to. Green. Now they want us to do the same with the paragraphs. Right, here's the paragraphs. Instead of typing all this out again, I can just copy this code on line two, control C, paste it into line 27, control V, and then change the color from green to, I don't know, orange. And there it is. All right, on to the next one. Okay, discuss your partner. What do you think will happen when you add text align or color next to the properties of the body? Uh, it's going to align the text and change the color. All right, here's the body. We'll add text align. Text. No, text. Text align. Let's go center. And it aligns it to the center. All right, now let's go color. And we'll change it to aqua. And surprise, it changes it to aqua. All right, I get it. I got it. It's good. Let's go. All right, look at the float property inside your image rule set. Here's our style. Here's our float. Change it from left to right. So we're gonna go from left to right. And it moves the pictures to the right. So that's the float. It moves the pictures from left to right. Find the property in the style sheet that controls the width of image. All right, first let's find image. Here it is. And here's the width. 250 pixels. Create a new rule with a height property to control the height of the image. All right. So I'm going to hit enter and add another line of code right here on line 18. I'll type in height, H-E-I-G-H-T, height. And let's go ahead and make it a perfect square. So it'll be 250 PX, 250 PX. And as always, make sure and add that semicolon. And now you can see our pictures are all perfectly squared. Use the width property in the paragraphs rule set to change the width of your paragraphs. Okay. Paragraph. Let's go ahead and add width. It would be good if we spelled width correctly. Always. Um, let's go ahead and go 200. PX. And semicolon. And there it is, right? So now it's all constrained to 250 pixels wide. Right, and this would be good if you were doing like, say, an online magazine or something. All right, debug some images. These images are all supposed to be 100 pixels high, but the high property is not working. Find the bugs. Style sheet. Height. I 
I see it already. The 100 is good, but we're not giving it the PX. PX. And there it is. So again, it's just a matter of remembering that the uh, height and width have to have PX after it. No big deal. On to the next one. Debug the style. None of the styles are working on this page. Debug the code, then change the styles to something you like. So this one's pretty sneaky. Because you're thinking, oh, it's in here, but it's not in there actually. It's in here. So the uh, to connect your style sheet, it isn't SRC. It's href. And if you ever forget that, right, we just we can change this to href. If you ever forget that, all you have to do is go back to like a previous lesson. And you can see here it's working, right? And it's href. So just go back to a uh, one that you know works and you can just copy it and then head over. And dump it in and it works but yeah that's just they're just being tricky by putting a src instead of href and then they want us to mess around with the style so let's go ahead and do that a little bit instead of dip deep pink let's go pink instead of light blue let's go blue um, let's see let's float to the middle I guess we should over to the right. And we can make the borders thicker. Maybe change the type to mono space. And that's plain. Cool. Nice. Love it. Wrap it up and on to the next one. Debug the heading. All right. Preview the page. You can look at the code. Something isn't right. That can cause problems later on. Heading. Spam Musubi. What is it? Remember when I uh, we mentioned in the header or in the head? That's where you put your link to your style sheet and like um, keywords and stuff like that. So these H1s and H3s, they don't belong in there. So all they want you to do is remove them. All right, so just select them. Control X to, cop to cut, and then add this in the body, all right? And that's just clean code, it looks nicer. And that's it on that one. So although it looks right, it isn't right. Let's go ahead and move on. Add new rules. The rules for the body are not very exciting. Add some more to make it look cool. A pangolin alone makes it look cool. But okay. So here's our style in the body. 
Let's go ahead and say background color aqua. I want to do. It's exciting enough. All right, Pangolin, on to the next one. Fix the image width. All right. Images here are all different sizes from with some of them way too big. Create a rule that makes all the width of the images the same size and sizes them down. All right, style, image. We have to add here. So we're gonna add another line in 13 and type in width W. I D T H, and let's go 200 and see what it looks like. P X, and there it is. Always put in that P X, or it's not going to work. Done deal. Fix image position. Move the images using the float property so they are all, they are to the side of the text rather than below it. Okay. Style. Image. And then we add the float. That's the little AT. Float to the right. Oh, not in here. Right. And add the semicolon. And there it is. 